All right, what's up guys, Pressure Attic here. And this time we have an interesting pickup. It seems like we've had a lot of like unboxing and pickups lately. You know, remind me not to buy any more things for the year. Uh, we'll see how well I do with that. Cause I've definitely said that like last year to one of my buddies, Nate, and he was like, what happened to no more, you know, guns this year, right? So, you know, it gets the best of us. So this one was an interesting pickup. It's not a new firearm, it's actually a used firearm. It's a police trade-in. You'll see these PD trade-ins for Glocks, you know, pretty often. And I kind of told myself, why not get one? You know, like, why not pick one up, you know, 300 some bucks, you know, under 400 for like a Glock, a computer Glock. I feel like there's so much you can do with it. You can try to stipple it. You can try to like swap around the slide and do whatever. So I was actually scrolling on an email from Wisconsin Firearms and Transfer. It's a nice little small business located in Wisconsin, uh, Landon, I believe. A great guy. Shout out Garrett, if you're watching this. He always like hooks me up with some stuff. And uh, he's got these like really cool email blasts that he'll send out for the new stuff he gets. And I was scrolling through, my friend was like, oh my God, it's like a used Glock 35, for, like 400 bucks. Like, I want that. And I was like, well, shit, like, you know, let me hit him up. I see what else he's got in inventory. And I told him, you know, find me a cool Glock 22, like a beater one. I don't care how beat it is. Like, I just wanted one, like, play around with it. And then we'll buy both. So we picked up both. So he got the 35, I got the 22. Classic G22 Gen 4, 40 Smith & Wesson, basically. And here's the unboxing. We can see what it comes with. So, you know, sometimes you get these PD trade-ins. They're like, you know, 300 some dollars, but you get one magazine. So if you think about it, you know, having all three magazines makes it a big difference. Glock mags can go from $20, $15, you know, 25 bucks. So here we have this nice, lovely G22 that Garrett helped me pick out from inventory. We have some night sights still. I did check these actually still do kind of glow. I don't know, you know, how long this was in service for. But we have one magazine, two magazines, and even the third. So pretty sick. You know, the box even came with all the original stuff. There's like the the lock, some paperwork, some of the, you know, the warranty, the Glock Perfection, Mumble Jumbo, and whatnot. So, so let's take a look at this pistol. I was actually at the range with this yesterday, and I want to say, you know, people say like, oh, like 40s got snappier, more aggressive, less capacity, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, you can you can argue that in the comment section. Don't argue with me. I just wanted this for fun because it's just like a, you know, like a cheap beater. Like this can be like, I can throw it in my gym bag. I can have this as my home defense if I don't want to lose my, one of my nicer pistols to like the evidence locker. You know, there's so many things you can do with this. And also being Gen 4 and just like the full size frame. I think the endless possibilities with this. Just come with it, you know, you can make this a G17 if you want to swap the slide and also swap the, uh, the ejector in the frame. Because the 9mm and 40 Glocks all share the same frame size. But once you get onto, like, you know, like the, the 45s and the 10mm, they actually have a different frame. It's a lot thicker and fatter. So, you know, you can leave this as a G22. You can make this a Glock 17. You can make it a Glock 34. You can make it a Glock 35. It's just like having like the gun, like the frame itself, I think. It's a very versatile piece. I've always wanted to try some hand stipples. I do have some like artistic talent, so I don't think I'll like bubble this like in my garage and make it look like shit. Uh, I will, you know, try to look up some more videos. I think OT Defense has a really cool selection of videos and some products on his website. They really help with like black stippling. So, you know, I might take my time with it. Give this a cool pattern. Maybe get rid of those finger nubs. Um, I might send this slide off to Wage. Get a cool cut for it. You know, we'll try something funny. Like, we'll give it, like, a multi-cam black pattern and we'll give it, like, some funky pattern. Like, why not, you know? So I just think having one of these in your arsenal just never hurts. It's a great Glock to just, like, throw around. Like, you know, you throw some accessories on it and it already, like, looks better. So let me give a cool transition. All right, we have the tier that one. A nice little FDU plus two magazine. Check it out. What do you think? I think it's looking better already. This can be a great, like home defense, bedside piece, anything. So you can also swap the barrel. I think Lone Wolf is the one that makes it. You can shoot nine millimeter out of this. So pretty cool. I think it's a versatile Glock. People call it like the pandemic Glock because over the pandemic, you know, nine millimeter became so expensive and hard to get, it's out of stock. You know, the whole production issue. And then, you know, 40 is just sitting on the shelf for like, you know, 30 cent per round or 33, very similar to nine. And just, I don't mind it. I think having a 40 Smith & Wesson piece is not, like, I don't mind. That's the best I can say. Like, I don't want to get into that whole argument over ballistics or less capacity or more um, more rounds. 
stopping power, you know, all that garbage is just, it's a Glock. It was like 300 some bucks and it's a Glock. So I was even able to shoot this. You know, we took it to the range yesterday at the time of recording this. And uh, my friend Ryan, like shout out Ryan, he was like, he just slapped a box of 40 on the table. He's like, take this. Cause like, you know, I don't have any 40 yet. I have to still find a deal for some. And I was just trying to feel the gun out first. I don't think the, the kick is really that much different from nine. I will say, obviously, there's a decreased capacity. Your G17 holds 17 plus one. This one is actually going to hold 15 plus one. So, you know, make or break. You can look at the ballistics. You can argue it in the comments. You can get into it with someone on the internet over nothing. So I'm not going to get into that with you. But I think it's a cool shooter. It was very fun to shoot. A very fun little shooter. Also, another little tip is maybe, you know, if you shoot competition, USPSA. I believe 40 counts as major division, so it's going to be a different hit factor. That's something to keep in mind. Maybe not everyone's thinking about stopping power, stopping power. Uh, you know, it could be some of the reasons why they want a 40. So it is a classic piece on law enforcement. Uh, this might be a trip down memory lane seeing this, but definitely check out Wisconsin Firearms and Transfers. If you want to pick up a PD trading of your own. So as always, drop a like, comment, subscribe. Any thoughts on 40 versus 9 or like what I should do with this? I'm down to hear it. Like, maybe you say, oh, like, you know, convert this to a G34. Your collection sucks. You need one of those longer muzzle guns. Or just say, like, oh, like, keep it as a 40. Like, you like shooting 42. Just let me know. And as always, have fun and stay safe.